morning traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Tuesday, February 21st. All right, well, yesterday we had a holiday here. The markets were closed in the United States for President's Day. However, the futures were trading, and, of course, they were up yet again. So uh, pretty much out of the uh, nine days of trade, uh, we had one small down day, and we just continued to go higher. Uh, I played out two scenarios. It looks like uh, this one scenario that we're looking at might just uh, come rather quickly. Uh, but I'm going to show that to you on the charts in the S&P. We're going to cover the indexes. Uh, really, there's no change. Friday was monthly expiration, um, and the markets uh, were down in the pre-market, and then uh, you know, it was easily bid up. Spiders SPY had a very large open interest at the 235 strike, and that's where it closed, 235.02, I believe it was. So the shenanigans are, um, are around this, guys. I mean, that's exactly what the market makers want to want to um, to play and how they play out. Because remember, they're, uh, they're selling premium calls and puts, and they put a collar on it to make sure that um, that all of that money gets expired worthless and, and the uh, specialists and the uh, market makers make all of that money and they keep all that money that they wrote okay so just keep that in mind when you're going in there uh, when you see a lot of open interest the options market can tell you a lot of good things uh, why even, even if you don't trade options okay just something to uh, make note of all right so let's get right to it um, there really hasn't been much uh, the, the song remains the same uh, we are in a grossly overboard market uh, very expensive market there's no discount to buying stocks up here uh, not without a pullback and um, you know you hear the pundits uh, you keep buying it by the dip by the dip until it hurts and technically speaking um, you know you're sticking to the trend but what I would be doing is reducing share size uh, and keeping your stops really tight because at any given moment that's all you're looking for this train wreck is going to be a massive train wreck to the downside and the risk is to the downside there's no two ways about it I've seen this happen many times, and um, I th I think it's just a matter of when. No one knows, but um, you know, start looking to keep buying the dip. And uh, if you have long-term wealth accounts, I would be protecting those portfolios. You don't want to give back those gains. You know, don't listen to these guys that say, "Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Write it out. Write it out. Write what out? It's your money. You've made it. Make sure you protect it." Okay. All right. So UUP. Uh, we mentioned about uh, how the dollar, let's see if it, if it tests, it did fill the gap here, and now we're getting back under, we're just under the belly of this uptrend um, right here, right at this uptrend line. So we need to break back above 2650. This will be a, a welcome test, which is uh, has tested out, and now we're looking for higher prices to test the highs here. Okay, what this does look though, and if you are a dollar trader or if not, um, this just looks like a real nice looking uh, bear flag. You can see the flagpole, and here's your flag. Okay, just on, just in between this um, uh, this this uptrend line here. Okay, so this does look like a bear flag. Let's see if the pattern breaks to the upside. This will be negated, and then we should see higher prices at least challenge the highs. All right, but I'm going to take that out for now. Next is going to be um, your ten year. Now, I got a couple people, a couple of um, traders out. Had emailed me and asked about the about rates and here's a ten year. Um, remember, if you remember back in July, we called the ascending triangle. Here was your target. Sure enough, we hit it. And here's uh, Fibonacci retracements. We didn't even get to the thirty eight percent retracement. That tells me rates are strong and rates are on a move. And I believe that rates have made a generational low right here in July. Okay, guys, you can see the TLT is a twenty year ETF. Uh, how it got decimated from back here in July. And now we're just kind of range bound here. Remember, um, if the rates wait and see which way rates start to break, okay, that's obviously going to affect the, the bonds. So um, if rate, rates breaks to the upside, bonds are going to go lower, and vice versa. Okay. So this is what I'm looking for. There really, really is no trade in the ten, in the uh, in the TLT at the moment. I mean, you can sneak eke out a gain or you know shorter or long, but to me, there's not enough movement. We're in a, a very large horizontal channel and um, I'm waiting for a breakout or a breakdown to the downside and then that's how you would play that TLT with rates of course here's the GLD okay and um, this is something of, uh, that's interesting to me I like the fact that we're above this area here and that we're holding true but remember gold is funny gold could just smash right down to the downside and uh, take all of these weak longs out so I'm still wa watching patiently uh, I think gold will test the lows again one more time. Here's the GDX inverted uh, head and shoulders. Nice neckline is the dotted line here. And we do have a nice bull flag, so we're back testing it now. 
what I'd like to see is this whole the proprietary price channels here, the DMT price channels, and of course this neckline for further prices. And of course the neckline measures the highs right back up in here, back from uh, uh, late July. Okay, IWM. You can see here we had this long uh, consolidation, if you want to even call this a, a bull flag uh, for the bigger uh, picture. We're above it. We're holding true for the next for the last five or six trading days. So. Watch IBM this week, excuse me, IBM, IWM, and see if we break out to the upside here, okay? But again, nothing wrong with the chart. The only thing is that we're just, you know, you, you, from November to buy up in here in these areas, I mean, for a hold, for a trade, absolutely, there's no reason. But um, IBM, uh, excuse me, IWM has, uh, hasn't really been a great trader, as you can see. We, 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 for a few days, you go up, and then we go down, and then we go sideways pretty much most of the time. So um, I'm looking for a, a move either to the upside or a break back down. Again, um, the bigger picture here, i like to see uh, the uh, Russell 2000 get right around the 125.32. That's going to be the IWM, okay? Daily chart of spiders, um, big, big consolidation, as you can see here, for months. Then we break out, consolidate again for two months, and now we're breaking out yet again. Like I said, guys, very expensive market here, very dangerous market when there's no pullbacks and everybody is buying. If you go to the local supermarket, you'll hear the stock guys talking about uh, about buying stocks. All right, that's something that you have to be aware of. Here's our scenario that we were talking about. Uh, one scenario would be would be to come down to this area, 230, 231, and then blow off top. That will be your last move back to the right, right around. Well, let me just get the, let me, this is what I'm, this is exactly what we're looking at here. Uh, we pull back into like around the 230, 230, 228, and then we rally up to about 240. Okay, that's your first scenario to play out. Or scenario number two, which I think this may have started, is we ride the rails, right? I mean, the ride the rails of this upper area here, and then as we, we, we go, blow off top to 240 we don't even get the pullback this will be even more dangerous because this will be significant this will be a very big drop with no pullback all of the people that are buying in here are going to be the first ones to go okay uh, well excuse me they're not the first ones to go they'll be the last to go and creating more volatility way down below uh, where is the um, pullback probably be testing the uh, November lows somewhere around 212 now that would still keep you in a bull market, okay? However, it would start the correction, and then that correction will turn into a full-blown um, market sell-off. Okay, that's usually how it goes. But this is my, my, my two scenarios here. I was looking for a little bit of a pullback. It looks like we might not even get it. We had a very shallow one-day pullback. Friday, we recovered, and now we're up again higher than we are. So um, let's see which way. It's still early. Okay, but let's give it a few more days of trading and see which scenario will play out. Do you get the pullback or we just get mild, shallow pullbacks as we continue the uptrend into 240. And then all you need is that one big blow off top where everybody's in, everybody's long, uh, and that's where we get the big pullback, okay? That's what we're going to be monitoring. Uh, transports here really not doing much of anything, obviously, at the upper end of the range, which is bullish. But again, guys, watch these volume zones when the market does get going on the way to the downside. Last is your cues, and it's silly. I mean, you know, Amazon, Google, they're all up. They're all extremely overboard. I mean, would you buy the cues up here for your account? Don't do that. It's silly. Just wait for the pullback. Look at how far away you are from the 21 EMA. I mean, look at the price channels where we are. I mean, it's just, it's, stocks are going to trade tomorrow. There's no reason to buy stocks way up in here, guys. Just give it a, give it a chance. Don't chase, um, you know. Really think things out. Make sure that you know your risk, uh, your risk plan is in place because that, like I said, at any given moment, markets can actually roll over. Believe it or not. And the funny thing about it is, um, most of the new managers or traders have never seen a market pull back <laughs> since 2009. So that's going to be more fuel because they're going to keep buying a dip until it hurts. And then once it does hurt, and they're going to get out, it's going to be at the lows. So just be careful out there. Right? We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.